Hey guys, Albert with Fast Fuel Systems here today to install one of our new Ford drop-in systems on this really nice 21 F450. Uh, this install should only take about an hour, and if you guys at home have any questions, you can go online and you can find our manuals. Release the locking tab on the water and fuel sensor and disconnect. Place a suitable drain fan under the fuel conditioning module, then drain accordingly. Remove the bolt and slide the fuel conditioning module up and off of the fuel tank. Disconnect the four lines. The fuel conditioning module can now be removed from the truck. Install the provided billet fittings into the filter base and tighten all fittings accordingly. Place the three provided billet spacers onto the filter base, then secure the provided billet bracket with the supplied hardware. Tighten accordingly. Install the fast assembly onto the mounting bracket just as the fuel conditioning module was mounted. Install the bolts and tighten accordingly. Reconnect the four factory fuel lines to the fast assembly. Install the 8th inch MPT plug into the provided billet fitting and tighten accordingly. Using grease, install the provided 90 degree fuel fitting into one end of the half inch fuel line and secure with the provided hose clamp. Tighten the hose clamp carefully. Connect the fuel line to the outlet side of the fast assembly. Route FL-1002 on the outside of the frame near the wire harness to the front of the fuel tank. Trim the half inch fuel line to length. Then using grease, install the provided 90 degree fuel fitting into the half inch line and secure using the provided hose clamp. Tighten the hose clamp, then connect the half inch provided quick connect line to the engine feed line. Using grease, install the 90 degree provided fuel fitting into the remaining section of the half inch fuel line and secure using the provided hose clamp. Tighten the hose clamp carefully. Connect the provided 90 degree fuel line fitting onto the inlet port of the fast system. Trim the half inch fuel line to length, then using grease, press the provided billet fitting into the half inch fuel line. Connect the provided billet fitting to the OEM fuel outlet line. Apply grease to the CWS 1010, then thread onto the filter nipple that does not have the drop tube.
install the provided sensor into CWS 1010, then connect the WIF sensor with the provided harness. Secure the wire harness with the cable tie. Apply grease to XWS 3002XL, then install onto the fast and tighten accordingly. The truck can now be started and checked for leaks. Alright guys, we just finished up this install and like I said earlier, it was a really easy install. Maybe took about an hour, uh, so we're going to fire it up and see if we got any leaks.